Top 5 Common Misconceptions Number 5. That the Blobfish is a hideous monster. This is what he looks like after extreme tissue damage, due to being pulled to the surface so rapidly. This is what he looks like in his natural habitat. Number 4. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. This is just stupid. This video shows the Empire State Building getting struck three times in a row. Number 3. While we're on the topic of the Empire State Building, dropping a penny off the top of the Empire State Building can't kill someone and will only be going like 50 miles per hour because of the wind. You can probably throw a penny harder than that. Number 2. That bananas grow on trees. The plant has no woody fibers, just stalks, leaves, and fruit. So technically, it's a herb. The tallest herb on the planet at that. And also, bananas are berries, so the whole freaking plant is weird. Number 1. That humans only use 10% of their brains. Pretty much most of our brain is working at all times. And if you still believe this myth, then maybe you are only using 10% of your brain. I'm sorry to say, there's no untapped 90% potential. Now go out and flex it to your friends like you're a genius. 5. Interesting Stuff Animal Edition Number 5. Giraffes are known for their long necks to reach the top of trees for the tastiest leaves, but they occasionally eat grass, and this is what that looks like. Number 4. This rose-crested gross beak is the first of its kind, being genetically half male and half female. It has both reproduction systems and can hypothetically impregnate itself. Number 3. Technically, anteaters invented T-posing because it's their defense stance when they feel threatened. Number 2. For Halloween's sake, this is what a bat fetus looks like. Number 1. This is what the velvet worm looks like when it hunts. The slime shot out hardens on impact. Then, the velvet worm injects its prey with saliva that turns its insides to mush, later sucking out the mush as food. What a freaky little worm. Inside Murderer's Houses This is the inside of Jeffrey Dahmer's house. One thing you notice about a lot of these houses is they aren't kept well. Inside of Jeffrey Dahmer's freezer, this bag on the left hand side contains a human skull. This is the inside of Adam Lanza's room. Very creepy, very obvious signs of a recluse. On the complete opposite, this is the inside of Chris Watts' house. Very well maintained, nice, and pretty much a model home to the average American. Switching it back over to James Holmes' house. This apartment is obviously booby trapped as you can tell. He was used to living in filth and stayed living in filth his entire life. Prison has probably been his cleanest living area. I always wondered, if they knew they were going to prison for the rest of their life and people would be going into their houses, why wouldn't they just clean it up? That's disgusting. Top 5 Ugliest Animals Number 5. The Naked Mole Rat Kim Possible, you lied to me. Rufus is lovable and adorable. This thing is a hideous monster. Number 4. A big eared woolly bat Your nose is ugly, your mouth is ugly, your ears are ugly, your brother is ugly. Speaking of brothers, Number 3. The Hammerhead Bat This guy is so impossibly disgusting, I had to look up if he was actually a real thing. Spoiler alert, they are. But oh how I wish they weren't. Number 2. The Proboscis Monkey Believe me, I'm all for body positivity, but when it comes to Don't even You you know what, let's just move on Number 1. The Eye Eye Biologist I'm willing to accept a common ancestor with every other being on this planet But this This That's a hate crime against humanity I'm convinced this thing is an alien Some people have claimed these things to be cute I believe those people are pathological liars Believe what you want there's no possible way that anyone that I share DNA code with could ever possibly find this disgusting, horrid, horrific, putrid monster adorable. Bye. 5 Interesting Stuff Number 5 This is what 400,000 volts of electricity short-circuiting looks like. Number 4 This is a single-cell organism eating another single-celled organism. Even microscopic life is hard. Number 3. This is a 33 day time lapse of a finger wound healing. Kinda cool, kinda gross. Number 2. When the roof of an abandoned mall collapsed, rainwater pulled in the bottom, creating a breeding ground for mosquitoes. The townspeople handled this problem by filling it with fish to eat the mosquito larvae. Number 1. I, I didn't have anything else, so here is a video of a cat sniffing a grenade. Top 3 Close Calls With Death Number 3 A man eating dinner finds himself choking, home alone, and he knows he has to think quick, or it'll be his last meal. He runs to his neighbor's house, and she immediately proceeds with the Heimlich maneuver, saving his life with only minutes to spare. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. no? I get ready to die. Number 2 While clearing a hill, an onlooker is in utter shock as a boulder big enough to flatten her rolls her way. Through the shock, she's motionless, pretty much waiting to be ended. Luckily, the boulder by random chance stops one roll short, saving her life. 
Number one. On a normal night, a Pakistani man is closing down his shop for the day. When he grabs the gate, he's sadly unaware, volts of electricity are running through it. It was so strong, it constricted his hand muscles, attaching him to the gate. His friend goes to pull him away, but he feels a painful shock. Through quick thinking and a desperate attempt to save his friend's life, he uses his scarf to pull his friend back, saving him in the only way possible. And the shop owner lives to see another day. Cheers to good friends. Time out. Commercial break. Only 7% of you guys are subscribed. Help me change that. 92.4 of you guys, subscribe right now while you're watching the video. That way you never miss one of these. Also, feel free to join the Discord down below. Alright, commercial break over. Top 3 Most Painful Death Penalties Number 3. Lethal Injection Before the prisoner on death row is injected with the chemical most known for being lethal, the potassium chloride, the prisoner is injected with anesthesia to not feel the pain and a muscle relaxer so they aren't flailing about. Without these precautions, the potassium chloride would be extremely painful, but with them, most pain is psychological. Number 2. The electric chair. Before the prisoner is sat in the chair, their head is shaved and their calf is shaved to allow for good connectivity for the lethal shocks. Also, a wet sponge is added to the head, a bag is placed over the head, and the shocks of the helmet pretty much turn their brains to mush. This will be immense full body pain for up to 45 seconds before the brain is too destroyed to stop receiving pain signals. Number 1. Firing squad. This method is left up to chance. Most die of blood loss, making it agonizingly slow. Some squads miss their marks or even blow off chunks of leg and arms, which takes the longest followed by gut shots, which are the most painful and still agonizingly long. Then, the proper heart shot, which would only last about a minute. This method is the most cruel and inhumane. Why is it Halloween? Nobody wants to question free candy day, but it had to come from somewhere. The single earliest root of Halloween is the Galaic Festival of Sain, which marked the end of the harvest season and the beginning of the darker half, now just called winter. On this night, it was believed ghosts could come back to wreak havoc and destroy the world. So the priests of the time would gather everyone around fire pits and wear costumes as a disguise and carry lanterns made of hollowed out pumpkins through the forest. This morphed into a pagan holiday. Jewish people had Yom Kippur in October and Christians wanted a holiday too. So they took the pagan holiday and took the parts of their religion out of it and made it into the Halloween we know and love today. The jack-o'-lanterns and the costumes were from the original holiday, but it turned to a holiday where the kids would still dress up and go around scaring adults. To deter this behavior, kids were bribed with candy. So every year after that, trick or treat meant kids were mobsters, out for candy, and if you didn't pay the bribe, you were doomed to be pranked. So yeah, their terrifying and world threatening fears of ghosts turned today's kids into the mob. Who would have known? Top 5 Most Dangerous Jobs Number 5. Paving and Servicing Operators Since they mainly work paving roads and sidewalks, most deaths from this occupation come from equipment failing, or obviously, being hit by passing cars. Number 4. Aircraft Pilots this includes commercial aircraft pilots and helicopter pilots, as well as all other types of aircrafts. Almost all the people that die in this field come from privately owned planes, as commercial flights have too many restrictions and requirements to really have people die that often. Number 3. Sailors Working as a ship's head operator, standing watch, and taking measurements sounds easy, but they spend a big part of their lives at sea. And the longer you're on the job, the higher and higher the risk of dying on the job is. Sadly, most drown to death. Number 2. And oddly, a fisherman. Like sailors, they spend a lot of their time at sea, though some deaths do come from equipment malfunction, most deaths come from hazardous weather. Top way to die is still also drowning. Number 1. And the most dangerous job to work is logging workers. I mean imagine, what could a machine made to chop down a 30 foot tree do to a human body? R slash confessions. I lit a large fire in my neighborhood when I was a kid. I was walking home from school in 6th grade, and I had some matches since I was fascinated by fire. I lit some dry grass on fire and then attempted to blow it out. When it flared up, that just made it bigger. And before I knew it, a large part of the field next to some houses was burning. I ran down the street to a house where I knew a firefighter worked. His wife called the fire department and they put it out before any houses burned down. Later that day, they came to my house to present me with my very own firefighter's helmet, a kid version. After asking me some questions, they wrote it off as a magnifying effect of some broken glass they found in the burnt grass. I never found out if my parents suspected me and that firefighter's helmet on my bedpost was a massive source of guilt for years. Certainly never tried anything like that again. Two Sentence Horror Stories In history class, we were listening to the sound of a nuclear alarm. The teacher turns off the sound, but the alarm keeps continuing to ring, louder, and outside. This pretzel has a weird texture, I thought. After a few more juicy crunches, I remembered the workplace had a pending request on cockroach extermination. With one last push, I managed to reach the surface of the river and breathed a sigh of relief. I looked up at the people watching and realized my mistake as they began to scream that I'm a witch. The babies are never quiet and they never sleep. It's been 20 years since the fire in the nursery of the closed down hospital. My sister came into my room last night and warned me not to go in the basement with my father tomorrow. I screamed in horror 
because my sister had been missing for three years now. When I came home, my dead mother's ghost was sitting in her favorite chair. It wasn't the first time I'd seen her there, but this time, I noticed she was nodding at me and patting the chair next to her, right before my chest pain started. It's getting colder and colder in my home all of a sudden. I hope it's warmer outside once I'm born. The back rooms, level six. Widely considered to be the most dangerous level, level six is a small connection of empty metal rooms. The first thing you'll notice is it's pitch black, followed by hearing groanings and roaring sounds. With the visual and audio senses confused, the brain starts to hallucinate. The only other entity in this level are insanities. This is where you'll need your almond water to keep feeding your brain as these hallucinations turn you crazy quick. In this level, when the hallucinations finally get to you, you will eventually end up as an insanity, stuck in the back rooms forever. The entirety of level 6 is made out of dozens of complex sublayers, with only one true layer existing, where exiting with your life is possible. Most people die here due to simply not being able to find the true layer, but do conserve all the energy you can, because you'll need it for the second to last layer. It is truly endless. Where are they now? The bidet. This seemingly middle-aged and accused pervert is actually only 28. Most famous for deeming young girls and preying on them, usually ages of 15 and 16, seem to disappear in late 2019. He's been laying low and apparently is be trying to become a rapper. Fire bars, you decide. The last time he was seen on TikTok was on the account Freak Alpha with the three as the E, which seems to be his new internet alias going by on his more active social media accounts. After his accusations, he was never arrested and only advised by the police to lay low. Now just spends out his days gaming on Twitch. Did he get away with preying on young girls? Or was he falsely accused? You're the cute one here, not me, so... That's for you to decide. Two sentence horror stories. My girlfriend and I are a perfect match. Even though she doesn't want to make a donation, I'll have two brand new kidneys by the week's end. As I stand on the stage in front of all my students, I can't help to feel a sense of pride. I'd always told them to make a real change in this world takes commitment and determination. And here they are, shoving me towards the guillotine. The first group of people to ever grow up off planet saw Earth for the first time and were amazed at just how gorgeous and vibrant it was. The Earthborn captain sent to oversee the project was horrified at the sight of a purple and black planet. My neighbor wouldn't stop complaining about my German Shepherd's barking at all hours of the night. Now, I don't have to listen to him complain, and my German Shepherd has a new true toy. My noodle was a bit discolored but I ate it anyways. It wasn't until it slithered down my throat that I realized the mistake I'd just made. I've only just started reading lips, so my dad knelt down in front of me to make sure I understood him clearly. Very slowly, he mouthed the words, if you keep up this behavior, I'll take away your eyes next. Mind blowing facts with Gerard. Anechoic chambers are the quietest places on earth and have background noises measured in the negative decibels. After a few minutes in the chambers, you can hear your heartbeat and blood circulating in your ears and may even experience troubles with orientating yourself. Dogs can't actually feel any guilt. They can only feel sad because their owner is yelling at them. At 16 years old, Randy Gardner broke the world record for the longest period a human has intentionally gone without sleep, without using any stimulants of any kind. He stayed awake for 264.4 hours or 11 days and 24 minutes. After needing 13 liters of blood from a surgery at the age of 13, a man named James Harrison pledged to donate blood once he turned 18. It was discovered his blood contained a rare antigen, which cured rhesus disease. He made over 1,000 donations in his lifetime and saved over 2.4 million unborn babies from the condition. Shout out to this man right here. Personality Disorders, Part 1 There are 10 DSM-5 listed personality disorders, all fitting in within three clusters, Cluster A, B, and C. Cluster A includes odd, bizarre, and eccentric behavior. Cluster B includes dramatic and erratic behavior, while Cluster C includes anxious and fearful behavior. It's important to remember not every characteristic is included into each individual's disorder, and that's because it's on a spectrum. These are the personality disorders. In A, there's paranoid, schizoid, and schizotypal. Under B, there's antisocial, borderline, histrionic, and narcissistic, while under C, there's avoidant, dependent, and obsessive compulsive. It's more common to have correlated disorders that can contribute to acute symptoms. These disorders also include distress and impairment, but with proper management, these disorders can be curbed to help the person better integrate into modern society. R slash confessions. I stabbed my classmate on the head with a pencil when I was in kindergarten. This topic came up recently when my mom and I started talking about my childhood. 
I never admitted to this and told everyone it was an accident. Here's what happened. We were asked to draw something on a piece of paper. I forgot what he did to me or what happened, but I remembered I intentionally stabbed him on the head with my pencil. When he started crying and babbling about how I stabbed him, I denied it at first, but he won't stop crying. They checked out his head and found a mark of a pencil, then it was confirmed. I started also crying and told everybody that I was just stretching out since I was tired from drawing, and when I dropped my hands holding the pencil, his head just happens to be on the way. They believe that, and turns out that the kid was actually being bullied by other kids, and then he dropped out. Every time I look at our class picture, I can't help but feel sorry. So my dog food company sent me a bag of dry ice, so let's do something. For one, it makes this horrific noise. Hmm, guess it's up. All right, turn some more lights on. We got Coke, Crystal Light, soy sauce, and almond milk. Let's get it. Coca-Cola. Ooh. It's like getting rid of the Coke, it's weird. Crystal Light. Don't know why, but I picked soy sauce. Let's just see. Oh, it well, that stinks. It works, but it stinks. And the baby almond milk. Ew. The soy sauce isn't doing much, but that's disgusting. Almond milk, you freak. What are you doing, son? Did I just spend four hours researching and creating a video all about the most dangerous fair ride and how tragedies lead to fatalities just so TikTok can ban my video before anyone sees it? Yes. But guess who's kind enough to let us post the video? The name that should not be spoken. Because <coughs> if it is, they'll block this video too. Go head over there to the app that should not be spoken and check it out.